Hello everyone and uh, in this example I am going to discuss another problem of arithmetic mean. This is the problem with the cumulative frequency. So the problem is right in front of you as you could see that uh, there are uh, two things which are mentioned in the question and that's how this question is uh, a little bit different. You have been given uh, not directly with the value of the variable but it has been given x or more that is one thing. That means this particular class right here or this particular category is 5 and more but the next class starts immediately at 10 so this class actually have 5 to 10 whatever observations are there here and it is clearly mentioned here that the cumulative frequency is given that is this this is not uh, the simple frequency now I have to find out the arithmetic mean for total 50 observations given above so uh, there are two hints clean hints here one is that total observations are 50 and second is uh, in the row heading it is also given that it is cumulative frequency so I cannot solve this question direct what I have to do is first of all I have to break the cumulative frequency into a simple frequency so that is the first thing I need to do let's understand the concept of cumulative frequency a bit uh, uh, so I'm going to explain it right here cumulative frequency can be accumulated in two directions so let us suppose uh, something like x is given let me take three random values two four six and then you have some frequencies associated with it so it is like uh, 8 sorry 5 8 and let's say 7 so uh, if I want to find out the cumulative frequency then I can find the cumulative frequency two ways first I can sum it from top to bottom and I can, I can accumulate cumulative frequency right at the end of the observation how do I do it so first observation is 5 itself and second observation is 8 plus 5 that is 13 and the last observation is 30 plus 7 20 that means uh, frequencies are accumulated from top to bottom and I also noticed that total number of observations here are 20 so what does actually cumulative frequency means that means this 13 is representing a number which is combining two categories of x 2 and 4 while this 20 is combining all three categories so if I look into this third class fundamentally so they are uh, these frequencies are accumulated accumulated from top uh, bottom to top that means in other direction which I'm going to show right here okay let's let's do in the other way so if I want to find out cumulative frequency and this time I'm accumulating from bottom to top that means I'm changing the direction so what is the first frequency here 7 the second is going to be 8 plus 7 that is 15 and the last is going to be 15 plus 5 that is 20 so if you look into this particular example the frequencies are accumulated in this pattern that means from bottom to top so what does it mean that means uh, uh, this 3 is actually a collective uh, frequency of 40 and 35 or from 35 to 40 the 25 to, uh, from 40 to 25 the accumulation is 17 from 40 to 20 the accumulation is 39 and so on that's how the cumulative frequency looks let's solve this particular problem so here I have the solution table right in front of you I have written cumulative frequencies right from the question you can notice at 50 49 46 39 17 8 3 and 0 0 I have not mentioned and I'm just going to explain why so let's first find out the classes so first class is going to be from 5 to 10 second class is going to be from 10 to 15 because it is 10 or more but it is stopping at 15 because from 15 the new class is starting so uh, my class intervals are going to be something like that with respect to question they are going to be 5 to 10 second is going to be 10 to 15 then it is going to be from 15 to 20 20 to 25 25 to 30 30 to 35 and 35 to 40 now uh, if you could notice uh, that uh, in this particular question at 40 the frequency given is 0 that means there is nothing which is 40 or more so I don't have to create one more class from 40 to 45 so uh, let's calculate the frequency now since I have already explained that this frequency is clubbed from bottom to top you can pause the video and you can go back and see it so let's calculate the frequency my first frequency is going to be 3 here as it is the second is going to be 8 minus 3 
that gives me how much 8 minus 3 is 5 next is 17 minus 8 that makes it 9 then 39 minus 17 that makes it 22 then 46 minus 39 that makes it 7 then 49 minus 46 that makes it 3 and 50 minus 49 that makes it 1 now i think the things are going uh, or it uh, they are easing out and you are getting the pattern as we used to solve in arithmetic mean now i'll calculate x which is the midpoint once again midpoint is lower class limit plus upper class limit divided by 2 that means first will be 5 plus 10 divided by 2 so 5 plus 10 is 15 divided by 2 makes it 7.5 the second is going to be 10 plus 15 that makes it 25 divided by 2 that makes it 12.5 same way I keep on calculating my width values x 17.5, 22.5, then it becomes 27.5. Notice the uh, midpoints also increase by the same class width which is throughout. The class width is 5 everywhere, 25 to 30, 30 to 35. So it is also increasing by 5. So there is a pattern which emerges while calculating the midpoints 32.5 and the last is 37.5. Now I have, I have my f i have my x things become really easy i understand how to calculate arithmetic mean you can refer the previous videos now i'll be calculating fx that means f multiplied by x so my first observation is going to be 1 times 7.5 which is 7.5 second is going to be 12.5 times 3 which becomes 37.5 then it is 7 times 17.5 which becomes 122.5 then it is 22 times 22.5 which is 495 then it is 9 times 27.5 which is 247.5 then it is 8 times sorry 5 times 32.5 which is 162.5 and the last observation is 37.5 times 3 that makes it 112.5 now I already know that I need to calculate summation of fx that means total of all these values which in this case is going to be 1185. I also have to calculate summation of f for my uh, arithmetic mean though I already know it's 50 but you can recalculate it and that becomes 50 right here. Let's plug the values into the arithmetic mean formula. formula. I know the arithmetic mean formula summation x bar is equal to summation of fx divided by summation of f summation of fx i have already calculated 1185 divided by summation of f which is 50 and my x bar becomes 23.7 now uh, i'll repeat one or two things how to spot that the problem is of cumulative frequency sometimes it is getting given direct in the question the cumulative frequency and everything is else is mentioned sometimes you have to spot it how do you spot it uh, you can spot it by identifying the data should follow generally I am not saying in uh, strictly on all the cases this kind of pattern in fact the frequencies should follow this kind of pattern that means they are they are less in the beginning they keep on increasing somewhere at the center and then they keep on decreasing on x-axis there are classes so in the beginning the frequencies are low so if I look into my uh, calculation of frequency in the beginning they are low they are 1 3 7 keeps on increasing up to 22 and keeps on decreasing but if the frequencies are continuously increasing that means they are following either this pattern on the uh, graph continuously increasing or continuously decreasing like this that means this is the problem of cumulative frequency if you see this pattern the frequencies are continuously decreasing so they are following a different kind of pattern which is not normally accepted that's why this is, becomes a problem of cumulative frequency sometimes it is not mentioned here that the problem is of cumulative frequency there your intelligence is required or your uh, knowledge of stats is required to identify that uh, whether this is the problem of cumulative frequency or not so that's how the solution is you can pause the video you can re-see it thank you very much